Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining us again today. So we've got a very quick video demonstration for you today about how to make a LinkedIn cover photo in Canva. And uh, just before I show you so, I will um, recommend watching the video and then if you want to go and have a go at this yourself, then click the link in the description for this video and that will allow you to access Canva then for completely free. So if you think that you can... Uh, give it a go and you want to do so just click that link down below so with linkedin if you read the um recommendations and you know so the official guidelines for the image it needs to be a square 400 by 400 pixels um however you could scale it when you're uploading it but it does need to be square and it also recommends that you know the this image should be made up of 40% of your face so your face should occupy 40% of that square so bear that in mind you know when you're uploading an image that's kind of their recommended sort of you know guidelines or um you know how they sort of recommend that you format that image you know so like i said face should occupy 40% as you can see, when you log in and you type um, LinkedIn, you've got actually access to some, you know, presets here. And you can see that, you know, although they're all square, some of the people that have designed these presets have sort of utilized other shapes. Um, when you see a LinkedIn profile, it appears in a circle like that. Um, so you can kind of preempt that by sort of, you know, first defining that circle. So you can kind of see what it would look like, you know, when it appears on LinkedIn as a platform. Uh, so if I give that a single click, and then you can obviously customize that. That's usually a good starting point is to utilize a template and then, you know, move forward with that. You've got some very different looking ones here then, as you can see. Um, so it's going to be a circular image. It's going to be cropped to a circle. And even though it, you know, asks for a square, that's how it's going to appear on the platform. Um, if I just very quickly as an example, show you that. So if you're obviously a LinkedIn user, um, you'll see, you'd have seen this before, um, and you can see that, you know, that's what I mean there, okay? So that it's a circle as it appears, even though they recommend that you, upload, you know, they ask and, and, you know, define that it's a square, that's how it would actually appear on the platform. So, um, you know, that's what that's kind of doing, is preempting that. So they've kind of pre-cropped it, and then they've put this little name bar in as well. So you could obviously, you know, swap that for your image very quickly and change that for your name and title. And that would be one way to go about it. And then the other way then would be to utilize any of these other presets and do do the same. You know, that's what I do. Um, you know, there's some images on here which have got, you know, a couple of these elements in the foreground, if you'd like something like that as well. And it doesn't force you then to sort of pre pre-crop it with a circle shape. Um, so if you'd prefer something like that, and you could utilize it for other purposes as well. Obviously, uh, Instagram is a square posting platform, um, so you could utilize it for that. And, you you know, you can see that it's got these kind of lens flare graphics in the foreground. So that could be something to consider as well. Um, once you're happy with your design anyway, whatever it is, obviously then you just need to hit that share button and then download it on whatever device that you're utilizing. And then once you log in to LinkedIn, you could then upload it from that device, uh, from your image library. It should appear in a downloads folder, even if you're on a mobile device or a desktop uh, device. It should appear, obviously, by default, unless you've changed it, into your downloads. Um, so just as a very quick recap, it's got to be 400 by 400 pixels, or at least a square that you can scale to that. And then uh, your face should occupy 40% of the space. Um, so even that's, you know, probably if you measured it, not going to be exactly 40%, but that's what they kind of recommend. When you do look at it um, on the platform, you know, it's it's quite far away. So don't use any images of you that are very far away, is they, what they literally say as well. And uh, like I said, if you're ready to give that a go now and you want to do so, hit that link in the description below and you'll get access to Canva for free. And um if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more content of this nature, give us a subscribe and a like. And if you've got any requests for future videos or any questions or anything like that, uh, leave them as comments down below. Thank you very much.